Virgo. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading. So if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you're interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He's incredible. He's over at 7D Tarot and his information is going to be down below for you. Let's dive right in. Spirit has messages. So we have the Two of Swords and the Strength card uh, flying out first for you here, Virgo. And let's see what else is going on here and get the bigger picture. Okay. Oh, okay. So... All is well. So <clears throat> right now I feel like you're in an energy where you're going back and forth a little bit, contemplating, is this right? Is this not right? You know, feeling like maybe the choice isn't yours. I feel like maybe the energy that's that's in your outer world is, you know, almost feeling you, leaving you feeling um, uh, mm, like the power is not in your hands or like the choice is not yours. Like your sense of confidence is diminishing. Your sense of feeling like you have, again, the choice, the power is, is going and know that this is a perspective. Um, and this perspective is, um, is one of your lessons, one of the lessons of this particular phase, because we go through different phases and chapters of the video game, as we know, right? Phase, phase, phase. And let's say we're here in the present and this is your past and this is your future. When we're here in the present, a lot of the times we're confused about what we need to do in order to attract the future that we want. So what we do is we get in our own heads a little bit, trying to force create, uh, mm, we, we seek, we, we, we effort or we we're, we're confused about what is necessary to get us the future we want because we're trying to control what comes next, right? I really want this to happen. I need to control it. What's the best decision in this time and space? I don't know. This feels overwhelming. I'm not sure, right? We, we, we psych ourselves up a little bit, creating a perspective of illusion. All that needs to happen right now for you, Virgo, is you need to understand that the universe of the, the has the future covered. Hallelujah, right? We don't need to figure that one out, thank goodness. All we need to make sure is, of is that we're honoring what our spirit's needs are in this present time and space because our spirit's needs is what allows us to feel satisfied, in alignment, happy, and purposeful. This feeling will then attract in the what comes next and it will be the what's next that you actually want. The controlled ego, what's next? isn't going to be what you want. I promise you that. And a lot of the times we feel like we need to control it. And more often than not, it's because of past experiences, more often than not from our childhood programming. So for instance, say you were a child that had to take care of yourself a lot, your, your parents weren't around too much, or there was a, you know, um, you know, whatever problems or whatever in the, in the upbringing, and you were fending for yourself more often or taking care of your siblings or being more the responsible one, right? That sense of control was on your shoulders, right? That's an example. So then you hold that sense of control and that carries with you. And then you try to control what happens in, in, in throughout your life. And the good news is you can let all of that go, beautiful spirit. And all you have to do is be honoring what the universal flow in through you is calling for you to do. Because here's this, right? If we are not honoring our spirits, what happens is then we try to force our future. When we force our future, we become overwhelmed, depleted, exhausted, and tired. We feel uncomfortable. That sense of uncomfortableness creates so much resistance because it's really not where we're meant to be focusing our energy. And we end up going backwards to a previous chapter that even though may be destructive and backwards feels familiar. And you see, that's how repetitive patterns are, are, are created, is we're trying to force our future, feel uncomfortable, it's too much, we go back to what's familiar, give ourselves a break, and then we go back into a place of familiarity, which feels almost sad and lonely because that too feels familiar, but not in the good way, right? And all we have to do is be in the present and be asking our spirits, hearts, whatever resonates, spirit, how can I honor you? What choice can I make right now that honors what my heart says? And in order to enhance this connection, we can visualize that heart heart energy cord coming from our heart chakra up into the heavens. At least there's a visual and there's a feeling behind it, right? Because we need visuals and visualization. It's good to practice this because visuals make our world go round. So once this perspective, you understand this perspective is not as it's so, it's just a fear illusion. And when the perspective changes, you'll recognize that, oh my goodness, this is actually a great 
energy that's being presented to me right now because it's going to allow you to give you the freedom choice understanding of then what it is that you want which is going to initiate change this change is going to lead you in a soul evolution journey and this is the soul evolution journey that we're talking about where you move from the past you don't worry about the future and you're right smack in the present loving life feeling a life of passion feeling a life of joy and satisfaction in alignment with what you're called to do your purpose for this particular phase now the one thing that we want to remind and remember and, and always be aware of is that when you're in the present and you feel residual behavior patterns from the past, you want to recognize that that may be there and that's when things are going to start to feel off because you're going to feel familiarities from the past that don't serve you right anymore. Perhaps it be, might be time to change up your schedule or change your style of clothing. Maybe it's time to evolve out of what you're used to wearing, or maybe it's time to evolve out of um, the foods you're used to eating or the people you're used to hanging around or the thoughts you're used to thinking about yourself. Now it's time to evolve to the version of yourself that's here in the present, right? The evolution from the past to the now. And that's the awareness we always want to build on because that's how we continuously evolve, right? Otherwise, if we're continuously doing the same things from the past, we're going to stay in the past. We're never going to evolve. And that's why sometimes you meet particular adults who may be still representing that from their high school days, right? And it's experienced. And it's because all of the same actions and thoughts and whatnot are being, being repeated, right? And that's all that is. But the awareness of evolution comes from honoring your heart's needs. And if you honor what your spirit says to you every single time, because your spirit will always guide you, that's when you're always going to evolve ahead. And that's when things are going to happen for you. And I see that travel is on the card for you here, Virgo. I see that uh, a lot of momentum in the form of... Um, uh, going in the form of going in the way of your desires. So again, once you get clear about what you want, these changes that are going to happen are going to be bing, bang, boom. They're going to be quick. They're going to be fun. They're going to be fast. You're going to eliminate a lot of old um, beliefs and, and old energies, residual energies from the past that are no longer serving you. I mean, it's going to be huge evolution here. And that's why don't worry about, about the things a lot of times we get in our own heads because thinking, 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 because we're trying to control our future. But again, that's the universe's job. All we have to do is ask our hearts, okay, spirit, what are you asking me to do? How can I honor your needs right here in the present moment? And when we do that, when we live our lives from that um, energy, everything gets good for us because that's when all the abundance flows into our life. And there's that beautiful prosperity card just to validate that for you. Okay. That everything is going to work out. Okay. For your, with you financially, any decisions you have to make, any choices you have to make, you follow your heart and prosperity is yours because as we know, money is just a vibration and money, just like the rest of us really like to be around happy people and happy energy and confident energy. And when we are just following what our hearts are asking, we are happy, confident people because we know we're doing what our hearts are asking. We feel fulfilled, right? Lately, my heart's been asking for me to start running again. And even though I'm used to exercising with weights, my heart and my, and to honor my spirit saying, go for a run and do some yoga. Keep it light. Keep it, keep it, keep it easy. And that's against what my past chapters have led me to do. So I have to make sure that I honor my spirit in the present and I go for the run and I do the yoga and it feels amazing and I feel satisfied and I feel really good about myself because I know that that's what my spirit asked for. I didn't go back to the past and think, no, I know better. This is spirit. You're wrong. <laughs> nice try, right? No way, right? We got to honor that. And it wasn't always so, but this is a practice. And the more you practice that, the more you will find that balance in your life because you will not be going from the future to the past back to the present future past repetitive cycles right so know that your spirit knows best know that your angels and guides got you and know that this is a process a, a journey that goes step by step by step so the best thing you can do for yourself is just tend to the small things right tend to the little things that bring you ease right it it's not really meant to be huge life-changing events all the time it, literally just as simple as just for instance me going for a run as opposed to like making it a big deal oh I should go outside and train for a half marathon and and then after that a tri triathlon like no no, no, just a run, just 
30 minutes. You don't need to do the incline on 10, Alicia. It just needs to be a simple run to clear some energy. That's it. And so universe is saying the same, Virgo. It doesn't need to be the whole kit and caboodle. It just needs to be one little step that your heart is asking for you to do. That way you won't overwhelm yourself. It'll go step by step and you'll be able to complete the journey and you'll be able to feel good and satisfied. And that feeling of satisfaction and fulfillment you're rewarding yourself with will attract in the desires that you want most. All right, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.